began in 2013, Mama tried as an indoor invitational bike demonstrate that features a portion of the coolest, craziest, rarest and most uncommon home-built bicycles. Having just possessed the capacity to dribble over the occasion through Instagram from a large number of miles away in years past, I at long last got the chance to look at the show face to face, and blessed smokes was I not baffled. Living in Southern California, we see bicycle demonstrates constantly and is constantly cool custom cruisers wherever you look, yet Mama Tried is unique. The Milwaukee-based show includes for the most part developers from the Midwest, or tries to at any rate, and this is critical on the grounds that not at all like California, the Midwest has its winter. This implies developers and customizers have numerous months to truly sharpen in their specialty and transform bikes into finished gems, dissimilar to in California where we can ride year-round. Saying this doesn't imply that there aren't fantastically capable manufacturers in California, there are bounty, yet California bicycles have a tendency to invest more energy in the street and less on a lift. The following are 10 custom constructed slash extraordinary slash uncommon cruisers that truly got me going. Picking only 10 was hard, the rundown could have effectively been at least 20, yet we should perceive what you folks think. Also, the show was so stuffed on Saturday that it was difficult to take any photographs. I needed to return early Sunday morning before they even turned the lights on, so expressions of remorse if some photographs are somewhat dull. You can click and throw the pictures for nearer detail. 10. Roland Sands Design 2 Stroke Attack TZRD Roland Sands calls it the TZRD on the grounds that it's a 1974 Road 400 engine that has been shoehorned into a 1997 TZ outline. There's no deficiency of exceptionally shaped aluminum or carbon fiber parts, so you know this bicycle is as light as a plume. It has a Holland's fork and back stun, and a dry grip. The wheels are magnesium race wheels pulled from Roland's title winning 250 GP bicycle he both composed and hassled on. I'd love to toss a leg over this thing to perceive what it can do. 9. Ben Kittle's 1969 Pan Shovel The most recent year of the Pan slash Jenny slash Peace slash Flat Side slash Scoop Engine before HD presented the cone base and in 70, this engine was just produced using 6669, which makes it very uncommon and collectible. The mag terminated engine has been punched up to 93 inches, so not exclusively does it look intense, it pulls hard as well. It likewise has limited freeze, super thin shaved lower legs and the ultra uncommon King Cab Snowflake magnesium front wheel, and how might you not love the paint on the tank? 8. Gregor Speed LLC's 1990 RC30 Mom Tried isn't only a chopper, custom cruiser up here. There were a wide range of delightful assortments of bicycles, similar to Brady and Ghost's faultless RC30 that he's re-establishing for an old clock who's made them sit in the back of his carport since 1994, disgrace. He claims and works retro speed LLC in Belgium, Wisconsin, and re-establishes a wide range of vintage cruisers. For the individuals who don't know how cool and uncommon this bicycle is, there were just 3,000 of them at any point made around the world, and as you can envision, even less made it to the US to finish it of, they sold for $15,000 in 87.90, so they weren't shabby either. Quick forward 30 years and you have yourself a remarkable two-wheeled diamond. 7. 3 Pence Moto's 1981 Ironhead This Ironhead work, by 3 Pence Moto in Denver, Colorado, resembles a little Dyna slash FXRT slash Hardtail Execution Chopper. It has custom handmade fairings propelled by a Conley's or Memphis Shades gauntlet style quarter fairing in advance and FXRT style leg fairings. The motor's heads and motor faces, including the cam cover have been widely machined and brought down to pretty much the absolute minimum. The bicycle additionally has execution lintel brake rotors with Takiko calipers, also an insane gold chip paint job. Certainly a show champion. 6. James Ballas Prairie's 1992 Honda NR750. Another ultra uncommon vintage, would we be able to call a 1992 vintage yet? Sport like that somehow discovered its way into James Ballas Prairie's carport, who lives in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Just 200 NR750s were ever delivered, and stowing away under its carbon fiber strength and one-piece tank, incorporated seat and tail unit was an exceptional V4 motor with overformed cylinders that were each matched with two interfacing bars and eight, eight, valves per chamber. Crazy. 
5. Teacher's Vintage Bike Works 1975 Can MTMT 250. Claimed and worked by PJ Gray Koskas from Cleveland, Ohio, this 1975 Can-Am 250 is entirely uncommon, and simply like numerous different bicycles on this rundown, uncommon app. A large portion of us know Can-Am to create ATVs, snowmobiles and spiders, yet they likewise made motocross bicycles and enduros between 1973 to 1987. In spite of the fact that this cruiser now resembles a type of tracker, Beast Pro Racer, it began life out as an enduro. The front end is in reality off the Yamaha RD350 and the back stands are all in. The majority of the parts were found at swap meets and designed to cooperate in evident custom chopper mold. Likewise, I simply have a weakness for two strokes, their effortlessness, crude power and lightweight are things you simply don't see all that regularly any longer. Jake Drummond's 1973 Yamaha RD350. Astonishment. Another two-stroke, yet it was a greater amount of the little points of interest of the bicycle that truly got my attention. Being a 70s air-cooled two-smoker, it has cooling balances encompassing the barrel, however those cooling balances additionally motivated the front lamp cowl, fairing type bargain that Jake made, by one means or another giving a 45-euro bicycle a cutting edge look. I likewise burrow the thin solo situate with the two taillights leaving the casing rails and the double stun raised suspension. Additionally, the exclusively uncovered throttle is super perfect. 3. Mike Rabbitoh's 1981 Shovel Based out of Las Vegas, it's nothing unexpected Mike Rabbitoh's bicycle is showy, and I'm not more often than not a colossal devotee of garish, but rather this bicycle does it in all the correct routes. First off. There's no place on this bicycle hasn't been revised in some way or another. The engine is machined and finned all finished, yet what truly emerged is the paint, gracious my god, you could become mixed up in it. From that point I truly burrowed the chain driven essential and the entire bicycle is inside wire, not one single uncovered link or wire. Foot grip, maneuver move and no front brake implies the back brakes better work, and this bicycle has two late show calipers restricting a solitary circle. Wherever you look on this bicycle, there's remark seen. 2. Ron Weber, Dalton Walker's Water-Cooled Knuckle Where do I even begin on this thing? It's a 70-year-old water-cooled, double-carved knucklehead based of a Petruzzi hustling motor that dwarf autos utilized the mid to 1930s and 40s. The casing was worth sans preparation to house the engine and has a barbecue right radiator between the down tubes. It has a broadened inline springer, a custom back wheel that resembles a repurposed space mag from a 60s 70s muscle auto and a paint job with gold, copper and silver leaving. Norley. I'll let you all observe what else you can discover in the photographs. 1. Christian Newman's 1940 Knuckle In the event that the last knuckle wasn't sufficiently insane for you, here's another. Christian Newman of Buffalo, New York is a cycle and manufactured all that you see here other than the engine and external wheel loops, he even totally updated the transmission since it was too wide. The vast majority of the whole bicycle is produced using stainless steel and is totally planned and handworked sans preparation by Christian himself. The support front end is a magnum opus, so are the wheel center points, just like the back bit of the casing that has both the sprocket and brake rotor outwardly of the pivot squares revamp the ratchet top transmission case to make it smaller and furthermore with the gold at the kicker arm utilize the vertical pressure spring instead of a run of the mill clock spring only for the sack of entertainment like a run of the mill chopper it's foot grass move no front brake yet dash the front bit of the small scale plank of flooring foot pegs are likewise the levers to incite the brake and grip and